See the moonlight's on the hotel. Whoa, I'm getting ready. Tell her what TV is in the hotel. Whoa, I'm getting ready. By the corner on the telephone. Yeah, this is the Ushara the Messenger, and you're watching Talawa TV with the host and best to Davis. Take it away. Good morning, my Talawas. How are you all? Be patient with me. Let me just get up my banners um, so that you guys can see what today's subject is all about. Um, let me know in the comments section how your morning, how your afternoon, or how your evening is going, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, this is just an update from my recently um, live video, which I say it's recent, but it's probably somewhat five days ago, uh, if I'm not mistaken, around the current, um, which who is now suspended head coach, Hubert Busby, of the reggae girls senior side um so if you want to find out more about that video and the subject the topic of the um conversation today's conversation then you can go back and watch my latest live or my last live i should say so let me check the comment section to see what you guys are saying before i get into things um as before as always drop a comment, let me know how your day is going, or if you have a subject that you want me to discuss on my next live, then please feel free to fire away. So you guys probably know about this already because news did... Win, win, good morning, sir. Or I should say good good afternoon, win, win. Um, how are you? How's your week going? We're midweek, so we're one step closer to the weekend. How are you, Wen? How's your week been? Um, are you looking forward to the weekend? As I was saying, you guys are probably aware of this because news did break um, yesterday evening. <laughs> Definitely, they had no choice. News did break yesterday evening that the JFF have taken the right decision. As we discussed on the last live um, in terms of what decision they should make and they've gone and they've taken the right this um, decision and they have suspended Hubert Busby again if you want to know more about the topic of conversation then you can go back and watch my last live video that has more details on this update um so I'm going to like, read a short article for you guys um and it should cover a quote from the JFF president, Mr. Michael Ricketts. Um, the headline from this newspaper article says, former Whitecaps coach Hubert Busby Jr. has been suspended by the Jamaica Football Federation. This comes as MLS investigate allegations into abuse by Busby when he was the women's coach for Vancouver Whitecaps. Let's see what Wun Wun is saying before I go further um, with the live. Yeah, we somewhat win win. That's why I have to make today's live um a little bit um quick because I'm actually not supposed to be doing it. I'm supposed to be um helping out. But before I leave out, um, I thought it'd be a good idea to update you guys and then I'll get on my journey. I have a busy day in store. But thank you, um, win win. Besides from that, everyone's pretty okay. I hope your family are doing well as well. Um, so like I said, if you've just tuned in, um, the JFF have taken the right decision to suspend Hubert Busby Jr. Um, of his duties. And that statement came yesterday. I'll try and find um, President Ricketts' statements. He says, we will await the result of this FIFA investigation. We do not want to make any permanent decisions until we have the facts. At the time, or at the same time, we have to ensure that our women and our girls are protected by those who lead them. And that's a quote from Mr. Michael Ricketts. Um, yes, I do agree with his quote, uh, with his decision. It is a delicate decision to make due to the subject um, matter. My only issue with um, President Ricketts' statements or decision is that it feels so um, delayed. And they actually made a statement after um, the Major League Soccer came out with a statement. I believe it was like four days ago. I read the Ma Major League Soccer statement in a bit, but I kind of felt that because of the nature of the topic of conversation that JFF should have acted more swiftly um, 
obviously they have to weigh up their options but again because of the nature of the subject i felt that they should have acted a bit more swiftly and gave us a immediate response um instead the other day they called for a important um press conference and that was press press conference was to do with the game against the whole match against the usa um obviously i'm speaking about the men's team that apparently was an important press conference. And I think that kind of puts everything into perspective for me. Here you have a delicate um, subject matter on hand and I would have presumed or I would have just liked for them to show us what is of high priority. And I guess um, that press conference, which covered the ticketing process for the game against USA was of more higher pr priority for the um, Football Federation. So that was disappointing because I think this right here, this subject matter, the allegations around Hubert Busby Jr. Um, was on hand, the protection of young women and girls and boys as well, um, because obviously boys and men aren't excluded from this um, topic of conversation. I would have liked for that press conference the other day to be focused around this, because I think this is way more important than the game against USA, which is some weeks away now. Um, Rora, and I've told you this already that you you are my namesake. We said we share the same surname, so you probably we probably have some relations. Um, good morning to yourself or Massachusetts. How do I pronounce that? Can never um, pronounce that name. Um, but I hope you're okay. I hope you have a lovely day. Mr. Grant, I hope that you have a splendid day. Good morning to yourself as well and to everyone who is tuning in, um, depending on where you are in the world. As I said to you before, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, um, depending on your location. Trying to get that statement up for you guys um, from Major League Soccer. As I said, that they actually put out their statement four days ago. Let me try and get that um date correct don't want to lie yeah they put out their statement four days ago so i was disappointed that jff didn't actually i guess you can say beat them to it um considering he is the reggae girls head coach and the nature of the subject i would have thought that they would have jumped on it and gave us an immediate reaction but they kind of showed their true colors with their delay and what they view to be of high importance um so i'll go ahead and read that statement from the mls it says Major League Soccer announced today that it will engage independent counsel to oversee a thorough investigation into how the, how the Vancouver Whitecaps organization handled allegations of misconduct brought by members of the Whitecaps women's team in 2011 against their former coach, Hubert Busby Jr. The investigation will include a review of the club's internal processes and overall culture at the time as well as recommendations on pre preventative measures to ensure that all players staff under the Whitecaps organization umbrella work in a safe environment, free of all forms of harassment and fear of retaliation. The league and club will publicly release the findings and recommendations of the investigation. So that was the um, MLS's statement. Again, they released that statement four days ago um, JFF only um, touched on the subject. From my knowledge, I've been checking their social media. If I go through their social media once more, um, just so that I'm not telling any lies on them, I go through their social media. Oh yeah, um, all that I'm seeing is the conversation or um, content around the game, our game against the USA, which obviously will be played on home soil. Obviously, there's a bit of history there that awaits. But again, due to the nature of this subject, surely you would have put out something on your social media feed. Instead, we have to go through third party to hear what the JFF thinks, to hear what Mr. Michael Ricketts thinks. It's not a good look. Um, it doesn't really take much for you to invite the... Um, Television Jamaica to come down with their cameras to your office so that you can address the um, the issue on hand so that you can release a statement. Um, if not to, for people in the diaspora, then definitely for people on home soil. Obviously, once it once it enters um, Television Jamaica, that can be distributed across various um, social media platforms, including um, JFF. So I'm not really sure why there was a delay. Again, I'm guessing they're trying to like cover their backs, but again. I did touch on this in the um, last slide that I did for you guys that 
because of the nature of the accusation, again, I remind you guys um, about um, Hubert Busby because of the nature of the accusation that the right decision to make at the time is to suspend him um, and then make an announcement at further date. At a further date, they have now waited like almost a week to give us a statement, and that statement is um, carried out through a third party. So that's not even on the official um, JFS social media handle. If I check their um, Instagram just to see if they've said anything on Instagram, I know on Twitter there's nothing there. Instagram, nothing there as well. So it doesn't look good on them. It does kind of like show their true colors and what they're all about and what they what they see as importance, what they see as high priority. And at the moment, if it doesn't make money, then clearly that's not a priority for them. So that's hugely um, disappointing. Let's see what Wun Wun is saying. People doing the investigation for them makes it easy for the just with themselves. Then, yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, they did touch on that. Um, that it will be handed over to FIFA. Like you said, it does make it life easier for them. But they could have come to that conclusion there and then, right? Or they could have at least put out a statement just to ease worries, just to ease minds, not just worries and not just ease in the minds of the women and girls in the um football um, program but also fans like ourselves were sitting there and wondering scratching our heads what's going on behind the scenes instead we're having to go to um third party websites we have to go through um third party journalists just to find out what's going on with our um national um women's side and what decision and what conversations are being held behind the scenes. Like I said, it doesn't take much for you to invite Television Jamaica or somebody who is in-house at the um, Jamaica Football Federation, set up a camera a bit like this face-to-face -face, and address the nation. It does not take much. It doesn't take a lot of time. Five, ten minutes tops and you're done. You put that video out there to, for the nation to see and for the world to see. But Unfortunately, we're always playing the waiting game with them. The only good um, news that's come from this is that um, Hubert Busby Jr. has been suspended um, until further, um, until the investigation has been um, concluded. Again, that for me is the right call. Um, it's just disappointing that it's come at such a delayed um, time. Let's see what Ro Roran is saying. Exactly. It should have been an immediate um, suspension. And that's what myself and um, a few of the other guys in the comment section were saying on my last live, that this isn't something that you ponder about. This isn't something that you sit and kind of like scratch your heads and think, hmm, swing your feet and think, hmm, what decision should I make? Because of the nature of the conversation, it requires an immediate response. And it's disappointing that when you go onto their social media, there is nothing there to address the issue. It is largely disappointing. I don't know how the girls are feeling. I don't know how the women are feeling in that national um, side, in that women's program, but I can bet you that they are feeling disappointed. And obviously, visibly, the support isn't there. It's not there because if the support was genuine, a decisive action, an immediate action would have been announced um, as a matter of urgency. And unfortunately, that's not the case here, guys. Um, good morning, Travis. How are you? I hope you're having a good morning. I hope you have a great day um, as you go through your day as well. Yes, exactly. Exactly, Travis. And that's what I was really disappointed of the last um, press conference. Again, it was about the ticketing process for the game against the USA. And a lot of it felt very repetitive. And this is why I didn't come on here and do a live after that press conference, because it just felt it was long winded. It was repetitive. And again, I'm thinking you're, 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 you you kind of sold this um, press conference around the um, game against the USA of high importance and for me that was a slap in the face because i'm thinking how dare you present this as high importance or important when you have an important subject on hand a subject where your where your um current head coach is facing some serious allegations that to me is of high importance that to me is the number one priority they didn't touch on the 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 allegations but a couple of days later 
we're hearing that you're making a um a statement and that statement isn't even on the the instagram page the jff instagram page it's not on the twitter page again i have to go through third party just so i can keep you guys updated so it was a slap in the face to me it just seems like if it's not about money you are not concerned and i'm saying you as in the jamaica football federation you are not concerned you look across jamaica every single day almost every single day definitely over the last couple of weeks every single day it's like i'm having anxiety you you look and you read through the newspaper or you go on Twitter and you read, this girl has gone missing. That young lady has gone missing. You start to fear the worst. What's happening with these young girls across the parishes in, in Jamaica, particularly in St. Thomas? That's my parish. But at the moment, I'm disappointed with them because every single day, even just last night, I see that someone from my community has gone missing. A young girl from my community has gone missing. So you're not telling me, JF, if you do not live under a rock, you live in Jamaica where you see that, yes, the, the situation is slightly different, but in the same sense, you can kind of compare the two. Because when you, know, when you hear that young girls and young women are going missing, you kind of fear the worst. You know what's going to happen to them if they're not being robbed or, unfortunately, the worst case scenario, murdered. You know that there's a chance that they will be sexually assaulted. This type of subject is very similar. You know what's going on, going on across Jamaica and you are taking your precious time to make a decision, precious time to suspend your head coach. That decision should have come as a matter of urgency, as a matter of high importance, there and then. The moment you hear the allegation, bearing in mind what's happening in Jamaica at the moment, you should have treated this, this, this um, allegation as high importance you should have at least in pre pretended to be sincere but instead you chose to show your true colors you gave it the shrug of the shoulders would you have made a decision so soon had the mls not made a decision would you have made a decision so soon if you did not see that this conversation is gaining momentum left right and center not just in jamaica but across the diaspora i think not I think not. And I'm, I can't believe I'm actually sat here saying I'm disappointed with you guys, but I'm actually disappointed because the one time when I felt like you should have acted right and done right for young girls and young boys, because these type of subject, this can happen to young boys as well. You know, people can solicit young boys and young men for sex. It's not just about women here. It's about male and female. You had it in your hand to show the nation that you cared and you failed big time. Like I said, if it's not about money, you guys do not care. And it's disappointing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very unprofessional. Very unprofessional. And when I was sat in that uh, press conference, I kind of was just looking at the clock like, when is this going to be over? Because for me, this isn't even high importance. Again, with that press conference, all you needed to do is just set up, set up your camera, do what you need to do, invite Television Jamaica down, let Television Jamaica distribute the content and share the content with you guys. Or you get someone in-house to come and film um, the the um, information that you want to distribute to the nation and people in the diaspora. I don't know if anyone can travel down in time. Probably too late now because you'd have to quarantine. But definitely to keep... Um, Jamaica um, updated on the ticketing process, um, the pricing of the ticket. That didn't require a um, important press conference, by the way, in my opinion. That's not an important press conference. This subject here, if I can just remove Travis's comment for a second, this requires a press conference. This subject requires a press conference. This subject is of high priority, not ticketing for the next game. You could do that in a social media statement. You could put out an ordinary video, a face-to-face -face video, um, discussing the, um, the process for... Gate, um, getting your hands on tickets for the, the game at the, at the National Stadium against the USA. That did not require a long-winded press conference. This subject matter, however, does. But obviously, this does not make money for you guys, so you're not bothered, you're not concerned. You show your true colors again. Um, so I guess, in some sense, it's good to see what you guys are all about. It's good to be reminded of what the Football Federation, the Jamaica Football Federation, is all about. Yeah, they are allergic to prof professionalism. They're 100% um, allergic to professionalism. They don't have any, a matter of fact. They don't. I hear the press, I hear the um, Mr. Ricketts ended his press conference um, the other day. And I was disappointed. I don't know why I keep on saying I'm disappointed, but I was actually shocked at what I heard in that press conference when he kind of gave his closing remarks. If I could maybe play what he said. 
see if I can find um, what Mr. Ricketts said when he closed off on his press conference, because I don't really want to paraphrase. I'd much rather if you guys just hear exactly what he said. And that's the reason why I keep on saying if it's not about money, then these guys don't care. And it's disappointing. This is more than football. This goes beyond football. The nature of this subject right here. Um, again, if you're new to my channel and you're wondering what are we talking about, please go back and watch my last um, live video. And it does give you more detail around the accusation surrounded Hubert Busby Jr. Trying to find that video for you guys so you can listen to, to what your president said. Um, I know it's here somewhere. Let's see if I can get this up for you guys. And that's the reason why I keep on saying that if it's not about money, then these guys do not care. I'm going to play that for you. Let me know if you guys can hear um, Mr. Ricketts' closing statements. But on a nation. Again, I want to say thanks to you all. And may God bless you. <laughs> and hopefully we'll make a profit on November 16th. You hear what your president said, guys? Let me know in the comment section if you heard what your president said in regards to the USA game that will be played on November 16th on home soil at the office. Um, and that's the reason why I keep beating the drum about profit, profit, because Mr. Rickett says, hopefully on November 16th, we can make a profit. Is that what it's all about? Should you not be saying closing, closing statements should be, I believe in you guys, we can beat them. Or oh, guys, turn out in your national colors, turn out the fans, be the best 12th man, let your voices be heard. I don't want to hear you talk about your hoping you can make a profit. That's probably why the tickets are sky high, because you guys are concerned about fattening your fattening your fattening your your your, your pockets. It's disgusting. Again, lack of professionalism. And then you have your buddies in the background cackling. What is funny? What is funny? The average Jamaican probably can't, not even probably, the average Jamaican cannot afford to watch the game against USA later on in this month, November 16th. The average Jamaican cannot afford to watch that. And you guys are take, you guys are speaking high and mighty in a press conference about hopefully you can make a profit. I don't see what's funny about that. And I'm not sure why your mates are in the background laughing. It's a slap in the face for hardworking Jamaicans who have to struggle to put food on the table for their families. I don't know what's funny about that. I can only, it's, it's the problem. It's just, a, it's just a problem in, um you know, Caribbean and African um, countries. Everything's just a laugh for them. One big laugh, you know, if it's not about fattening their pockets, then they're not concerned. I don't know for them. I really don't know for them. That message was loud and clear um, at the end of uh, Mr. Ricketts um, statement when he was um, in that press conference. He said, yeah, hopefully you can make a profit. So this is what this game is all about. OK, yes, he did say that. I can actually play that for you again. If in case you did not hear it, I'll play it for you again. And I was actually quite surprised. I was thinking he did not just say hopefully he can make a profit. Or we can make a profit. Where does that profit go? Just out of um, curiosity. Does that profit go back into um, the program, the football program? Does that profit go back into um, grassroots football? Because then I can join and laugh with you. But, but if that profit just comes into your hand and it just magic, magically, um, magically disappears, then I'm not joining in with, with the laughter because I don't find that a laughing matter. Absolutely, when, when it is embarrassing. I'll play that again for you guys. What? on a nation. Again, I want to say thanks to you all. And may God bless you. And hopefully, we'll make a profit on November 16th. Those were his words. And again, I just um, kind of ended that a little bit quickly because he had his mates in the background cackling. I don't really know, but maybe the profit is going to them. I don't know. Maybe they're getting a pay rise um, after November 16th. But again, you frame this as... A important press conference and I keep on saying that's a slap in the face for every single young girl every single family in Jamaica who's had to suffer with the loss of their child due to people who have kidnapped them due to people who have you know sexually assaulted them and that could inevitably um inevit inevitably lead to them going missing and or in some cases um ended up dead 
the subject matter um, that um, Hubert Busby is um, accused of in terms of um, that sexual aspect of the conversation, it is fairly similar. It's a slap in the face to those type of families. I don't know. Clearly, he probably, Mr. Ricketts and his buddies, maybe they've not had to... Um, go through that pain maybe they don't know no one no loved one who's had to um go through that pain um so they kind of find it funny so they're not going to be able to relate to the subject matter that's that could explain the reason why they drag their feet with making a decisive decision that decision a matter of fact from the um, jamaica football um federation it's not decisive they made that decision because they know that the world is what is watching they know that the world is watching. And I did say this on a, a few lives ago that if they think that they can play us about us as in the fans, us as in the supporters, if they think they can play us about like they did with, um, in previous years or previous decades, they've got something else coming. Because each and every football fan that I know, respectfully, we will be on their back like a hawk. So they're going to be getting sick and tired of us. Let's see what... Um, morning wayne i hope you're okay or oh, good afternoon i'm making an assumption you probably told me where you're based already wayne but apologies if i have um forgotten they absolutely are criminals and, I, and i'm not going to sit here and play nice not after what they did in that last press conference not after the fact that you're ending a press conference talking about hopefully you can make a profit it's the distaste it's not even distasteful it's a disgusting comment to make for the average Jamaican who have to put food on their table, who have to take care of their extended family. So that goes mom, dad, possibly sibling, because for a lot of um, people who can't afford to uh, move out of their family's house, they're living on one compound, right? But a lot of them living in, um, living in households where it's pretty cramped. For them who are, who are football fans or maybe even avid, fo avid football fans, you can't even afford to go to the, um, the game on November 16 because you guys have priced them out of that opportunity for you to come and talk about making profit and for your little buddies to be in the background laughing is unacceptable. I hope that somebody actually pulled you up on that, but probably not because people around you are probably just there just to listen to you, nod heads and um, be the yes man. So no one probably pulled you up on that, but you should be pulled. Doesn't matter if you're the president or not. Those type of stuff, um, those type of stuff should be said behind closed doors. But again, I'm glad that you lack awareness and that you say anything um, because it does show your true colors and it does show what you're all about. It is all about that. It is all about that. It is all about that because you know you've got a big game, a historic game coming up November um, 16th at the office. You should have ended that, that um, statement. Your closing, your closing statement should have said, good luck, guys. Guys, if you're coming to the national stadium, turn out in your, in your national colors. Be the best 12th man. Be noisy. Come with good vibes. You should have been saying to the reggae boys, I believe in you. We can beat them. Or you should be saying to them that you should beat them. You should beat them. You shouldn't be talking about profit. You shouldn't be talking about making profit when the guys and, and when, the, when the women and the men's team are always, you know, coming to you guys or making public statements that they're not, they have not been paid. So again, where do these profit? Where does this profit go? If it's not going back into grassroots football in Jamaica or going back into the, the men's or the women's program, then I really do not see why that statement was um, necessary. I don't see why people are in the background cackling as well because it's not a laughing matter. Clearly not. I don't think they ever were. Apparently they are, but I don't think that they ever were. No, they can't. Because the thing is, you're not going to get that type of change because when you all think the same, look the same, that you're going to get the same type of behavior and therefore you get the same type of outcome, right? Because it's almost like look at it, looking in the mirror for a lot of these um, men. Eddie, that's a very good question. Um, I'm all right because I'm glad that they've made a decision to um, suspend Hubert Busby Jr. But as I said to you, Eddie, I think you might have been in that press conference um, the other day. I feel like I saw you in the press conference, Eddie. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of like disappointed with the press conference because I don't really think that that was of high importance. They would think that was necessary. You could have just recorded a video and distributed it across social media because the press conference, if you was there, Eddie, um, you would notice that that press conference is very re repetitive. I'm just like, why are these guys repeating themselves? Like, we heard it before. Like, we get it. 
you know tell us something new like the next speaker that comes up please tell us something new i was there hoping waiting and hoping that they will talk about um hubert busby jr and the allegations around him they did not touch on it <laughs> oh god Exactly, exactly, Rohan. Exactly, exactly. And I'm saying, obviously, we're not accusing Hubert Busby here of rape or anything of that um, nature, but it is, the, you can kind of put it in line, right, guys? Because it is fairly similar to what the, the topic around sexual um, harassment, um, rape, child molestation is quite broad. But once you touch on one, you can kind of touch on the other. So that's the reason why we're saying that there's so many young girls in Jamaica and young women who are abducted, possibly raped, uh, possibly sexually assaulted. Young girls, young boys up and down um, Jamaica who are molested. So we can um, talk about one subject and then drift off and talk about another subject because they're all pretty much are in line with each other, if that makes sense. Again, we're not accusing um, Hubert Busby of... Um, rape or molestation but because you can compare the um various subject we kind of or i should say i expected a more decisive um decision from the jamaica football federation but i really shouldn't have no expectation of those guys because they don't have expectations for themselves so i don't even know what i'm doing um having expectations of them it's it's really silly of me yeah profit i was shocked I said, you're saying hopefully we can make a profit. Make a profit and do what? What are you going to do with the profit? I don't understand what you're planning on doing with that profit. I'm assuming it's to do with fattening your pockets. Christmas is around the corner, so maybe you want to have a nice Christmas dinner. I don't know. Maybe you want to um, treat yourself. I don't know, a new car. I don't know what that profit is going to go to, but that was distasteful of you, Mr. Ricketts. I'm going to be um, blatantly honest with you. That was a distasteful comment. You didn't need to make that comment unless you're planning on putting that profit back into the uh, football program. So whether that be both the women's program and the men's program or grassroots, unless you're planning on doing that, that comment was not necessary. Yeah, it is. Um, it's, it's, it's one that shocked a lot of people. I did say in one of my live that there's so much that goes on behind the scenes of the reggae girls that I'm not, um, <clears throat> beg your pardon, that I'm not um, best pleased about, but this did not cross my mind. This did not, the, the, the allegations, are, the allegations, the allegation, I should say, around um, Hubert Busby um, Jr., that did not cross my mind. But there are a few things um, going on in the background that I'm not um, happy about. It is all about the money. If you didn't know then, I sh I'm sure most of us who follow um, Jamaican football that we know that it is about money. It is about fattening one's, prof um, one's pocket. If we did not know then, then we do know now based off that um, press conference and what was said um, by Mr. Ricketts. You do have to distance yourself from that. That's why I was thinking, why are you taking so long to make a decision? Or are you only making a decision because the rest of the world are watching you and they're on your back like a hawk? Or are you making a decision because it was a big newspaper, the Guardian newspaper, who told the story? Or are you making a decision because you know all eyes are on you? Or are you making a decision because you saw that the MLS put out a statement? I don't know. Only they have the answers for that. very important very very important very important yeah it's a it's a um it's a delicate one um devon it's definitely um a delicate um conversation and it's one that has to be treated with plenty of tlc um but the jff yet again they let themselves down with their lack of decisiveness and also let themselves down by framing that recent press conference as important. Important to an extent, but the most important um, conversation right now centers around the reggae girls um, head coach, Hubert Busby Jr. There's nothing that's more important um, than that. And that is one that I should, I would like to think that we'll get um, updates. 
<laughs> what am I saying? Um, updates from the um, Jamaica Football Federation, but that's probably not going to happen. So again, guys, we probably have to keep our eyes and ears peeled and look at third party um, websites and see what they're doing in relation to keeping us updated on the um, subject matter. Throw some um, questions my way, guys. Oh, it doesn't even have to get the um, questions. Just let me know how you're feeling. Let me know how you think. How what What's on your mind, I should say, um, in relation to Hubert Busby Jr., the Jamaica Football Federation as well. Um, or it could be anything random. I'm going to have to love you and leave you soon. Um, because like I said, most of you are aware um, of what's happened in my personal life recently so i'm not able to sit and do long lives with you guys or do as much content as i usually would uh, particularly on my instagram page that's been very quiet um again for a good reason family reasons so i'm up and down at the moment um trying to do stuff so important and this is what i'm saying it's such a broad um topic of conversation that you know even if you don't know someone who is who is able to, to who's able to relate to the um the subject matter or the topic of conversation surely you must be able to know to be able to relate to mental health because that's something that we all need to take care of so again when you look at the mental health aspect you should have made a um immediate uh, decision to suspend the coach but you didn't because it's not of priority for you simple as thank you Winwin. thank you i appreciate you so much i appreciate you so much Winwin. so as i've said guys if you don't hear from me um over the next couple of days it's because i need to like tend to um family matters um once that's out the way then i'll be back to doing regular content particularly on my Instagram um, page. And also I'll stick to doing our regular live videos with you guys as well. If you're just tuning in, please do go back and watch my um, last live video. Um, that will give you more of a um, insight into today's um, subject, topic of discussion, I should say, around the Reggae Girls um, head coach, Hubert Busby Jr., who has now been suspended by the Jamaica Football Federation. Good morning, Devin. I hope your morning is decent. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope that if you're off to a rocky start, that it does get better. It's deep, Rohan. It's so deep. It is such, it's, it's something that I believe has been going on for um, decades. I would say even maybe during my um, grandparents' days as well, or even before that, like you said, culturally, it runs deep in Jamaica. It runs deep in Jamaica. So, you know, it's just, I keep saying it's disappointing because it is disappointing that, you know, they don't act with urgency, even when it comes to something that's such a sen sensitive topic of conversation. They still don't act with no real urgency. They're, re they're reactive as usual. And when you find yourself being reactive, your decision becomes insincere, right? It's not sincere, not even in the slightest. Thank you, Wayne. Yeah, guys, please do go ahead and hit the like button. If you've not hit the like button, if you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, guys, before I go, um, throw something at me, throw some questions at me or topic of conversations. A few of you actually gave me a few topic of conversations um, on my last live. And I did say that I would um, definitely be doing those live. I did not lie, guys, but I do have like other important family matters to take care of. So that's the reason why I've not done your um, covered your suggested subjects but i will get around to it please just be patient with me thank you thank you respect to yourself i'm glad that you find the um con the content um useful thank you thank you if i go back let me look at something um quickly um 
see that somebody is um Roran is asking me about the Rega Boys squad. I looked at it very um vaguely, um Roran. I'm not gonna lie to you. I looked at it vaguely, but because I was so focused on what's going on with the Rega girls and the allegations around um Hubert Busby Jr., that I kind of looked at it and just kind of moved on quite swiftly. Yeah, it's a, um it's a okay. It's a yeah. Um, don't see um Javain Brown, so I trust that he wasn't called up, right, guys? Yeah, Ravel Morrison is, is um back in the squad. Anthony Grant is there as well, as is Javon Watson, Lamar Walker um back in the squad as well. Up top, I think our firepower, that's probably one area of the field that we don't really need to worry about. Um, Flemo, Scorey, Nicholson, Gray, Antonio, Roof, and Bailey. Um, so where is um where is Jamal Lowe? Because I can't see Jamal Lowe. Am, am I moving too fast, guys? Or is Jamal Lowe? Did he not receive a call up? If he didn't, if I'm moving too fast and I can't see Jamal Lowe's name and he's not actually here, then that would be my one disappointment. Jamal Lowe um, not being in the team. I can't see his name. So tell me, guys, is he here or not? Um, let me take this a bit slow. I can't see his name, guys. Um, so, yeah, that would be my only obvious disappointment. I think he's um, earned his stripes. I don't know what you guys think about um Jamal Lowe. I don't really question his desire or his commitment when he's on that field. So that's why I say I think he's earned his stripes and he should have been um, called up or should be in that team. I do actually need to turn my attention to, um, to the reggae boys because I've kind of like put my foot on the brake a bit with them at the moment. Thank you, Win Win. Thank you. <laughs> Are you a mind reader? I think you might be a mind reader, wouldn't we? And I'm taking a picture of what you've um, suggested so that I can look back at it at a um, later day, a later date. You might be a mind reader. That did cross my mind, um, wouldn't we? Thank you. Our family, Mr. Davis, since you, we do share the same surname. um what do you mean by that what do you mean by that um i find i find um england to be quite devious at times you know when you know they don't want a player but they just cap them for the sake of capping them because they don't want other nations to get these players so you know whether it be jamaica or nigeria they just tend to just cap a player at a young age or even for a position where they know that's not their weakest part on the pitch, that's not their weakest position on the pitch, they just go ahead and cap that player. One player that comes to mind straight away is um, Tammy Abraham. I would much rather see Tammy Abraham play for um, Nigeria than England. But it, it, it was his decision to accept the call-up. So best of luck, best of luck to um, Tammy Abraham. That's a player that I do admire. I hope that he has a successful career at club and international level. But I would have rather have seen him as a um, eagle, a super eagle. I think that would have suited him more. Yeah, we do have a lot of um, firepower, plenty of firepower. It's just about utilizing them to the best of their ab ab ability and seeing what we can get out of it. Am I mistaken for saying that I did not see Tariq McGee's name on that list, neither? That's just um, come to mind. I don't see Tariq um, McGee's name on this, guys. So let me know in the comment section if you guys have actually seen the team sheet. I don't see um, Jamal Lowe, and I don't see um, McGee. McGee, for me, he's needed for that element of creativity in the uh, midfield position. Could also do with sticking... Um, Jamal Lowe on the wing as well. Um, I think he could, um, they could both offer us something uh, extra. I can't see both of their names. I don't know if I'm just flying past this list or not, but I don't see no McGee on here. So that is um, largely disappointing. Thank you, Wayne. Thank you. I'm going to try again. Um, the, what I think is probably best for me to do is maybe do these live just before I head out. So um, I could try again, maybe 
between now and Sunday. I don't want to give you a date um, because I might not be able to make that date. But between now and Sunday, I could definitely look to do another live for you guys. Yeah, they do. I don't know. There must be something sweet. There must be that that envelope must be heavy. I don't know what I don't know what the FA offer them, but hey, it floats their boat. So, you know, good luck to them. Good luck to them. And also as well, you know, with the players as well, in some cases, you can't really blame them. When your house isn't in order, so when you look at the Caribbean and the um, African countries and you look at their federation, when your house isn't in order, you can't expect a player of high caliber to want to come and play for you, right? Because they're, they're used to a certain level of professionalism. They used to the best of the best. They used to travel in first class. You don't go from traveling first class as a professional current footballer to, to travel in by economy where you're scunge up, scunge up and your knees are hurting you and you can't even stretch out. The person in front of you is putting their seats all the way back. You're uncomfortable. You don't go through that. That's not something that you would um you would want to um, sign up to. So in some cases, these federations actually shoot themselves in the foot and you can't really blame the players for saying no, they're going to play for um, a bigger um, nation. Yeah, that is disappointment. disappointing. That's very disappointing. Thank you, Mr. Grad. Thank you for the confirmation. Yeah, I was wondering, I was like, am I not reading this right? Like, where are they? So I'm disappointed with that, guys. Maybe we could talk about that on my next live. Maybe we could definitely talk about um, this team, where what my disappointments are. You guys already know my disappointments, but maybe we could go into a little bit more um, detail, right? A bit more details on the, um, the squads for our November fixtures for the World Cup qualifying campaign. <laughs> um it's so funny i don't even know how to play football that's the funniest thing i wish i knew how to play um then again you don't i mean yeah you kind of do need, need to know how to play if you want to be coaching aside um but i can't play so i wouldn't even be a good fit um for the team um, but yeah, um, when you care about something, you think differently, you think from all angles. And that's all I'm going to say in relation to the um, football, to our um, federation. Um, a lot of what they do, you do have to question how sincere is this, how genuine is this. Excellent for Roma. Excellent for Roma. You know, there was a time where, what did Chelsea give him? Chelsea gave him the number nine jersey, didn't they? I remember when he got that um, number as well. It must have been a number nine jersey. If one of the Chelsea fans, if you're tuned in, like, correct me on this. Was um, Tammy giving the number nine jersey? I can probably search for it myself. I'm sure he was given a number nine jersey because I remember um, Chelsea fans, minority Chelsea fans, um, giving him a bit of stick, asking why was he giving, in, giving that jersey. Um, and then it came to a point where Tammy was the man for Chelsea, right? He was the man. He was showing up. Yeah, he was the number nine. He had the number nine jersey, giving a good account of himself. Of himself. And then he got a bit of an injury, and he never really um, bounced back from that. But very good player, um, professional as well. It's always nice when you see young black players carrying themselves with um, true professionalism. That def that definitely um, stop the racists from grabbing their, getting their claws into them. Doesn't actually stop them, but. It kind of limits what they can and can't say in terms of whether a, a player is um, professional or not. Yeah, they do. They absolutely do. They absolutely do. They definitely do. Good day to yourself. What time is it? I should probably be saying to you, good morning. I hope you're having a lovely morning. I hope breakfast tasted lovely. And I hope you have a splendid day. I can try. I can definitely try. <laughs> if they don't ban me for not having nice things to say about them. So I can try. Definitely try for you, Wayne. 
I think so too. I, I definitely think so too. Um, I would have liked for him, like I said, I would have liked for Tammy to have um, played for Nigeria. I think that would have suited him well. Another player who has Nigerian um, heritage, I don't think he would have played for them. No disrespect to um, Nigeria. I don't, I'm don't. i saying that because I don't know how close he is with his um, grandparents or, you know, um, that line of heritage. Um, one player who could have played for Nigeria um, at one point was um, Ross Barkley because he does have Nigerian roots. Um, so again, where is Ross Barkley now? Can I, can either of you see Ross Barkley playing for England anytime soon? I don't know. I think that when you're in certain position, like attacking positions, when you're a forward or a striker, you kind of have to weigh up your options. If you have another alternative to lean back on, you should probably look into um, what that entails, um, whether or not it's feasible, whether or not it will suit your game, aid your development before you rush into committing to countries like England. Because you're going to be sitting around playing the waiting game, probably waiting for someone to get injured before they can um, go ahead and give you a call up. Listen, I don't know if I can agree with you on that one. I don't know if I can agree with you on that one. And the bigger heads, the old school heads, I don't think they're... I've seen Tapa do one or two things um, off with his recent age in mind. And I'm thinking, this guy looks flary. I see him make a couple of touches and I'm just thinking, wow, I can imagine you back in your day. You must have been like outstanding. I don't know. I don't think um, McGee, no disrespect to McGee, but I don't think he's at that level um, of what Tapa was. Tapa in his prime. I think a lot of people disagree with you on that. Um, not saying that McGee can't reach that um, heights. I'm sure he can. But, you know, Tapa is a legend for a reason. Not just because he put on the black, green and gold jersey, but because of the type of player that he was. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I thought so. I definitely thought so. He gave a good account of himself in that number nine um, jersey. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's bulked up a bit as well, so he's only going to get um, better. He's not a player that you can just bully off the ball, so he's going to want um, be getting better as his development um, progresses. Oh, bless. Um, sorry, um, condol condolences to whoever um, is um, bearing the loss of a loved one. Um, I hope that you're okay. I hope the family is okay and that everyone is doing well. Yes, they do, guys. I've got, let me see, let me check my time because I need to be heading out. Um, I've got a few more minutes with you guys, another two more minutes with you guys. So let me know what's on your mind and um, I will um, see if I can chime in on that conversation that you guys are having in the um, comment section. See, a lot of people, it seems like Tammy is um, well-respected because a lot of people say some, you know, um, fair comments about Tammy. I think he should have played for um, Nigeria as well. I think quite a few other players should have just gone and played for their country of heritage. Yes, exactly. That's what I love about you guys. You guys are so respectful and, you know, you guys are decent um, people. I don't know you all personally, but I would not mind meeting some of you in person because you are come across as being decent human beings no, who know when to apply empathy when necessary. I love that about you guys. Yeah, isn't he eligible to um, represent um, Ghana? I believe his um, country of heritage is Ghana. Another player, what I think he should go and play for the, um, the Black Stars. I don't see why you want to wait around and wait on an England call-up. I guess you could probably you probably think it's inevitable, but why not go where you'd be treated as a, as a king or a prince as opposed to being treated as a frog? I never understand when players make that type of decisions. But anyways... Um, that's down to them and their country. Um, yeah, guys, so as I've said, I'm going to be, thank you um, for tuning in, um, by the way. If you've not hit the like button, please do go ahead and 
um, hit that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you've heard um, today, please do go ahead and hit the um, subscribe button. Um, let's see what you guys are saying. <laughs> I don't know about that one, um, J. Ross. See what you guys are saying in my um the last couple of minutes until I have to love you and leave you. Like I said, I think it was Wayne that said he wants me to do another live. As I've said, Wayne, if you're still listening, I'll try and do that live for you um between now and Sunday. I can't put a date on it um or even a time, but I'll try and get that done for you. I'm um, dependent on my availability. Also, sorry for the rant as well, guys, but there's little stuff that this federation does that does get under my skin. So I try to rant respectfully. Hopefully that's how it came across. Um, I will continue to say that I am disappointed because I should expect better. We need better from the federation. Right, let's see. I'm going to be going. So, wait, 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 wait. Let me go back and see. Someone said something in the comment section. Where are they gone? I think I've lost this person's comment. I can't find your comment. I will do. I will do. You know what it is? I said I wasn't going to do a live that I would just head out straight and just get on with my day because I do have loads of errands to make and then i said well by the time i come home it's gonna be too late so i'd rather just get this out of the way and then i could just kind of like navigate the rest of my day without having to um worry about coming home to do this for you guys but yeah that's a fantastic idea and i will actually be doing that um as of my next live i will be um no doubt be doing that because what i do is i kind of schedule it 30 minutes before that's not fair on you guys so I will definitely be doing a better job. Three minutes, guys. I think I told you I'm giving you two minutes. Um, it's almost 11 o'clock, so I'm going to give you guys three more minutes. And then I'm going to have to love you and leave you for real um, this time. It's, <laughs> that's an opinion that a lot of people agree with. Um, with England, 100% do. They're spiteful as well. England, England can be so spiteful when it comes to capping players just because they don't want other um, nations to get them. I guess if you're the bigger country, then why not flex your muscle? Um, if Jamaica are in that position, then I would want Jamaica to do the same. So I'm not going to sit here and act like what they're doing doesn't make sense. It absolutely does. It's just that if you're the country that they're doing it against, Obviously, you are not in support of what they are doing. <laughs> Thank you, family. My little, you see, we share the same name, so we're definitely related somewhere down the line. Thank you for blessing me with your attention and your time. You guys are giving me your precious time, so that means the world to me. So thank you. We've got two more minutes, guys, and then I'm going to have to close off on the live as i've said i've got a busy day in store if you've got any more comments then do please feel free to fire away um as a reminder if you want to find out more about the allegations around hubert busby jr then please do go back and watch my last live video um i also added the article the guardian article which goes into like further details around the um allegations and that is in my last live so you could literally um, head over to my last live and you could go down in the comment section and you can give the article a read if you do not have time to watch the live. Um, that is if you want to find out more about um, the allegations. So we've, got, we've got one more minute, guys, until I have to sign off. As ever, thank you so much for blessing me with your time. I hope that you guys have a lovely, a lovely day. Um, if you are closing off or heading heading into the evening hours depending on which country you're based in i hope you have a lovely evening and a blessed night if like myself you are still in the morning hours of your day i hope that your day goes well um as ever guys thank you for blessing me with your time love you guys too love and appreciate you guys too my tallowers um, thank you guys um, for your love and support, your continuous love and support. 
ever since I started up this channel. Um, it's definitely not been, it's not gone unnoticed. Um, if you've not um, headed over to my Instagram page, then do give that a um, follow. It's a little bit quiet on Instagram at the moment due to my schedule, uh, personal schedule, but that's going to be up and running um, in no time soon, um, real soon. I'm going to be putting that up and running for you guys, I should say. <laughs> You've stolen my line. You've stolen my line. Um, so, yes, guys, what time is it now? It's now 11 o'clock. I have to thank you guys once more. Thank you for blessing me with a moment of your time to sit down and go through this live with me. It's almost bang on one hour. It's now what? Let me just wait for that. Yes, now bang on one hour that you guys have been um, sitting here and sharing your precious time with me. It does not go unnoticed, guys. Definitely love and appreciate you all. If you have not done so already, please do go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time.